superstar Dolph Ziggler. AJ South. What is going on, guys? Brett Alive back with another video, and today we have the WWE action figure setup Steel Cage 6th edition. Yes, this is the 6th steel cage action figure setup that we are doing on the Brett Alive channel. If you guys want to watch the other five, I will leave a card up in the top right for you guys to check out those videos. Click it right now. You guys could go see some of the videos, but watch this one first. And of course, follow me on Instagram. It is right here how to spell it, Brett Alive 4 But yes, guys, this is the steel cage action figure setup. It is an absolute banger. Look at this blue steel cage. It looks freaking beautiful. It's surrounded by wrestling figures. I'm going to go in-depth on everything going down in this setup. And I have a challenge for all of you guys. The challenge is there is a Nikki Bella elite figure hidden somewhere in this setup. It is not in the crowd. It is somewhere in the setup. So... Drop down in the comments down below. If you guys find the Nikki Bella figure, the first one to comment down below where the Nikki Bella figure is, I will pin your comment. So do that. Search it out. Watch this entire video and hunt down that Nikki Bella. Make sure to pop a picture right there what it looks like. And without ado, let's jump into the steel cage setup. Hunt down that Nikki Bella, guys. Here we go. We are going to start backstage technically and then move into the arena by the steel cage setup. Starting over here, we have the Undertaker and Kane getting ready in the gorilla position to go out to the ring. Over here, we have Curtis Axel about to deliver a front face DDT to Samoa Joe off of the semi truck. That looks pretty cool. That was really hard to set up. Moving over here, it was the Ultimate Warrior hanging on the steel chain of the wrecking ball and getting ready to jump off on top of somebody. We got the Ultimate Warrior once again with a steel chair and Hornswoggle also with a steel chair. They are about to have a steel chair battle, but of course, Hornswoggle's chair is a little smaller than the Ultimate Warriors. Moving over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but Braun Strowman, he's got a freaking Pepsi soda machine, and he's throwing it at Andre the Giant. Freaking insane. Absolutely crazy. Moving over here, we have Christian laid out in three tables right there, and you got John Cena on top of the new generation entrance stage, and he's about to deliver an attitude adjustment to Edge, on top of Christian, who's on top of three tables. Absolutely insane. And then, of course, here we have Batista delivering a powerbomb to Umaga into the new generation entrance stage, which looks absolutely stunning. Hoover, oh my goodness, look at this. The Usos, the freaking bloodline, the Usos. Jimmy and Jay, they're on top of the entrance stage. They're about to deliver frog splashes to Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, who are being held down by Paul Heyman and the honorary Us, Sami Zayn. But here comes Big E! returning from injury and he's about to push him off the table and then literally tip over the titan tron and send the usos falling to their death moving over here we have roman reigns my newest custom that i have yet to post on a royal rumble roman reigns right there that is an elite that's not a basic he just speared rusev into the wwe logo during his entrance moving over here on top of the entrance stage we got randy orton doing his signature pose as he's looking at all this absolute carnage i love the look of that randy Orton. I'm excited for the new one that's coming out too. That one looks really good though. Finn Balor just got cannonballed by Kevin Owens through the entrance uh, stage. Moving over here, this one's a little gruesome. Look if you dare. Drew McIntyre has Angela the sword and he just, he did something very, very bad to Austin Theory during his entrance. He took him out. That's all I'll say. Moving over here, we have Diego and Fernando, I haven't featured them in an action figure setup in a long freaking time. They have steel steps, and they're holding them on both sides, and they're jamming them into the gut of Rey Mysterio. Moving over here, we have MJF. He is getting the best of William Regal, and he is slamming his arm in between the legs of a steel chair. He's going to break the damn arm. Moving over here, it is the head of creative, Triple H. Triple H is about to deliver a pedigree to Vince McMahon on top of tax right there. That is about to be absolutely gruesome. Moving over here, it is the weasel. The weasel just slapped 
freaking Dusty Rhodes across the face, and Dusty Rhodes is like, what the hell did you just do? His mouth is wide open, and the weasel's arm is still in motion. Moving over here, we have the Street Profits. They're looking up in the air, because Rey Mysterio just did a backflip off of the freaking steel ladder, and he's about to come down. Look at that. Rey Mysterio is literally mid-motion. Absolutely epic. Moving over here, we got Rhino. He just delivered a gore to the hurricane right into the steel cage, and technically, the ring apron. Moving over here, we have Rob Van Dam sending his boot through the steel cage right into the face of the rock. That is so cool. Very clever idea by me, because of course, on the retro steel cage, the holes are bigger than the basic, like, new era steel cage. Moving over here, we have No Way Jose. He's got uh, Lince Dorado up, and he's about to slam him right into the steel cage over there. Moving over here, we do have Eddie Guerrero. He is laid out on top of those shipping containers. And Jeff Hardy is about 20 feet above him, and he's about to deliver a swanton bomb on top of the shipping containers. And there's his brother, Matt, cheering him on with the gun pose right on the side of the ladder. This looks absolutely awesome. I love Jeff Hardy setups. They're always so cool. Moving over here, we're getting to the steel cage setups. John Morrison, he is jumping off the side of the cage, doing a little parkour action. He's about to land on Luke Gallows. Look at that. Morrison's coming off the top. Luke Gallows is waiting at the bottom. Moving over here, we have Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant is basically just entering the steel cage. He's on the stairs. He's coming in. Speaking of entering or exiting the steel cage, here we have Edge exiting the steel cage. Probably how he doesn't want to exit. He's getting claymored by Drew McIntyre right to the door. They snapped the little hinge, the little lock off the hinge, and um, Edge is going right through that door. Moving over here, we got Kofi Kingston. This one is inspired by Mamo Live. She came down. She's like, I want to see a knee from Kofi Kingston. So I set up Kofi Kingston doing a knee right to the face of John Morrison. He's literally off the ground. Super freaking epic. I love the look of that. Moving over here, we got Brett the Hitman Hart delivering a Meteora to Vader through a barrel off of the steel cage. Freaking epic. A lot to that one. Moving over here, Randy Orton delivering an RKO to Rey Mysterio right off the side of the cage on top of a um, stretcher, which is pretty sick. Moving over here, Chad Gable is trying to pull Jack Swagger off the side of the steel cage, but Jack Swagger's got him in her Karana position. He could take him out doing that. Moving over here, we got Brian Danielson. He is jumping off the side of the cage, delivering a boot to Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole is eating that one like a man. Look at Brian Danielson jumping off the side. Boot right to the freaking throat and the chin, the jaw. Moving over here, we got Goldberg. He just delivered a spear to Keith Lee through a freaking ladder. Over here, we have Dewdrop. She's got Braun Strowman up, and she's about to deliver a power slam to Braun Strowman. Dewdrop is about to take out Braun Strowman. Freaking epic. Moving over here, we have Mr. T delivering a right hand that one lucky shot that Logan Paul is looking for at the Crown Jewel but he's doing it to Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Looks cool. Moving over here, we have Dolph Ziggler. He's delivering a Famouser to Billy Gunn. Sesame to yes. He's delivering the, um, of course, the Famouser on top of the barricade. Looking really cool. And then, of course, here we have Diamond Dallas Page delivering a suplex to Cactus Jack on top of all of that barbed wire. A pile of barbed wire. Moving over here, AJ Styles is jumping off the side of the steel cage. This inspiration from Brian, uh, or Dink's action figure setup in that draft battle setup video. Link in the top right if you guys are interested in checking that out. He's delivering a phenomenal form to Samoa Joe. We got the architect, Seth freaking Rollins, with Kane, and they're teaming up to take out Dean Ambrose. A Freaking insane curb stomp right through cinder blocks right next to the freaking announce desk. Seth Rollins being absolutely gruesome over there. Moving over here, the Undertaker went for a last ride to Rob Van Dam through the table, but Rob Van Dam got a hook on the um, steel cage. He's about to climb up the cage, jump on the Undertaker. Moving over here, we got Bobby Lashley. He's got El Torito up top. And he's about to slam him. Well, first he put him at a tire, and now he's about to slam him off that announce desk. Chris Jericho just jumped off the side of the steel cage, did a crossbody to the road dog, Jesse James. And then moving over here, of course, here we have Mark Henry lifting freaking over like 700 pounds over his shoulders. And he's got Ryback down below him. He's about to drop that freaking bar of weights right on the face of Ryback, who's begging and pleading for him not to do it. Look at that. That's going to be gruesome. Moving over here, we got Finn Balor. He's about to jump off the side of the steel cage and deliver a coup de grace to Braun Strowman. 
Moving over here, we have Batista. Batista's about to deliver a power bomb to Malachi Black. Or Alistair Black. Took me a second to think about it. But that's about to be insane because who? where are they going to land? You know what I'm saying? Literally, where are they going to land? It's going to be insane. Moving over here now into the steel cage. There's a lot of action to talk about. So starting up here at the top, we have Dash Wilder, Scott Dawson, Dax Harwood, and Cash Wheeler doing a big rig or a shatter machine to Enzo Amore on top of a ladder, which is bridged over the corner of the steel cage. Moving over here, we have Roman Reigns about to deliver a powerbomb to Cody Rhodes right off the corner of the steel cage. Freaking sick. That one took definitely a minute to balance. Moving over here, we have Shane McMahon. He's about to deliver a coast-to-coast -to, -coast to Matt Hardy, who's laid out in the corner with a garbage can. Moving to there, we have Sting. He is exiting the steel cage and winning his match. He's like, yeah, I'm out. Woo! -hoo! He's out. He's going over the top. He's out, man. Moving over here, we have Dean Ambrose. He is about to deliver a suplex to Daniel Bryan, who's literally mid-motion off the top of that steel cage. I want to get give a view for you guys. Look at that. He's mid-motion, about to deliver a suplex off the top of the cage, dragging him back in. The Fiend Bray Wyatt is meeting a Kinsasha kick right into the steel cage from Shinsuke Nakamura. Sheamus delivering a spear to Seth freaking Rollins in the corner through a table. The macho man Randy Savage has a steel pipe and he's wailing it over the back of Hulk Hogan right there. Hulk Hogan's meeting his demise right there. Here we have Kane delivering a tombstone to Cactus Jack or Mick Foley, whatever you guys want to call him, on top of a steel chair with barbed wire. Once again, I do just want to point out the Rob Van Dam setup from this angle, delivering the boot to Rock. I love that setup, dude. I know it's basic, but I just love it. Omas delivering a freaking super kick. He's getting his boot that high in the air to deliver a super kick to Yoshitatsu right into the steel cage. Here we have Sheamus about to deliver a Celtic cross to Roman Reigns right into the steel cage. So sick. And then here we have Sin Cara about to deliver a senton. Or he is delivering a senton to Ryback through a table off the steel cage. And then here we have the current champions of all the brands. Roman Reigns, Universal Champion, WWE Champion. Dean a or John Moxley is AEW World Champion. Seth Rollins is United States Champion. All members of the Shield are World Champions. Dad Alive pointed this out the other day. And I'm like, oh my god, you're right. So I, did, I decided to set it up in the action figure setup. You guys are probably wondering what the hell is going on over here. The edge is laid out on a black table, a gold table, and a red ladder suspended on top of a steel cage, which is on a ring, on the mat, on the floor, on the earth, and right above him, about 100 feet in the air, Jeff Hardy! For the love of mankind, don't do it, Jeff. Jeff Hardy is up there by the joist on top of the light, and he is in mid-motion about to do a swanton bomb to Edge, who's laid out on a table, another table, and then you guys know so on, so on, etc. Oh my god, Jeff Hardy, I gotta get a view on this. Just look at how high Jeff is. He's about to deliver that swanton bomb to Edge. Here's Edge right here. There's Jeff up there. My God. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. At first, I just had Jeff standing there, but I'm like, wait a minute. We should have a mid-motion. I used a WWE display stand from Ringside Collectibles using discount code Live, of course, and I got a mid-motion there. Uh, but yeah, guys, that has been the Steel Cage setup. One of my favorite Steel Cage setups of all time. Once again, if you guys are interested in checking out the other Steel Cage setup, link is in the top right. All you have to do is click it and then click more from Bread Alive, and then you could see all of those videos. Once again, if you guys were able to hunt down the Nikki Bella Elite figure, drop it down in the comments down below where you guys saw it. Subscribe to the damn channel. Let's reach 200,000 subs. Come on. Let's reach 200,000 subs. Subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes on this video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this Steel Cage 6 edition. And I'll see you guys next time. Bread Alive out.